everybody from all across the globe. Welcome to today's episode of Intentional Parenting with Great Man Ayilara. And I'm excited that every single Wednesday that we turn up, you are right there with us, listening to us. We have a very, very serious case on this community today. And I want to beg you, please interact with this particular broadcast. Leave me your comments and uh, I will be reading it out in real time. I sure cannot exhaust this particular topic, nor will my knowledge be able to help this particular brother on this case. He's asking my fiancé, I have a boy child that obviously dislike me, but I love her deeply. Uh, he's talking about the love he's having for the fiancé. He's talking about how the fiancé's child uh, dislike him. said, my fiancé, I have a boy child that dislike me, uh, that obviously dislike me, but I love her deeply. So, and starting, let's go to our mail today. Um, don't forget that if you also want to send your inquiry on any particular episode or program, mm -hmm. can easily just forward it to greatmanayilara at gmail.com. Greatmanayilara at gmail.com. Okay, so what is the mail talking about today? It says, hello, great man. Here is Kelvin from Abuja. I really appreciate what you do with your channel here on YouTube, which is not something common in the Nigerian space to address deep-rooted issues affecting all sphere of human life in the age where everyone wants to trend. Thank you very much, Kelvin. Your effort, if not invested, may be a loss to humanity as a whole. Thank you again. I have a challenge which I would love you to address publicly if you do not mind, because I was introduced to your channel by my fiancé. Hopefully, she will also be listening to you. Her only son is the main limitation to our possibility to end up as couples. This boy does not respect me nor take orders from me. For instance, whenever I visit and ask him to do something, he looks at me with disdain and go to confirm from his mother before doing so. He is going to be nine, and I am afraid that when I start having my own kids, wow, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. When I start having my own kids from his mother, there might be too much disparity between them as he is already feeling like I am a rival to him. The worst is his mother notice all this and do nothing about it. How should I undo the situation? Because it is very appalling to me already. Thanks, great man. Oh, well, it's a lot today. Please just interact with this particular episode of Intestinal Parenting. I would really love to learn from you also. We have a man from Abuja, Kelvin from Abuja, who is in love with a lady. The lady having one child, a son, and he feels that the child does not respect him enough because he doesn't take order from him. So can we start from asking you, Kelvin, what audacity you have to give another person's child order? What is your right to give this boy order? Have you paid the dowry of, uh, of his mother? Have you been introduced to the child officially as the new husband or the new father and from what you wrote to me i can see a lot of self-esteem issue from your angle and i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie to you you really crave for respect said so this boy does not respect me nor take orders from me that was really alarming you sound like someone who who is struggling with his self-esteem right there are a lot of self-esteem issue said, for instance, when I visit and ask him to do something, he looks, he looks at me with disdain, then go to confirm from his mother before doing so. He's going to be nine, and I am afraid that he's going to, when I start having my own kids, now look at your watch there, my own kids from his mother. My own kids from his mother. Now, there's no way this child is going to respect you. No matter the magic we use, there's no way this guy is gonna, uh, this boy is gonna re respect, you. because there is something called aura. The aura you are emitting already bring about 
discrimination and disparity. Even if this child does not bring that attitude to you, you will eventually provoke the child into acting that way towards you. Because in your words, you say, my own kids from his mother. That's a lot to, that's a lot of way to address your future stepson and the mother also. I'm not trying to be partial here, but from all you wrote to us, you obviously have a lot of issue. You are worried that there might be too much disparity between them as he is already feeling like you are his rival. Of course, you came like a rival. You came like a rival. So this thing is easy with a female child. A female child has a, a better emotional intelligence and they also kind of look, look more selflessly for their mother's happiness than a male child. Now a male child would naturally see you as a rival because the very first of his life is his mother. And one way or the other, I don't know how your fiancé is taking the whole thing, there is possibility that your fiancé has been shifting too much of attention from this boy to you. And normally, a male child, man, a boy, will want to retain the attention and the love of every, every woman in his life as much as possible, starting with his mother. Started with his mom. Unfortunately for you, you were not able to befriend that boy. You were not able to befriend the boy. There's possibility you tried your best, but not patient enough, and you easily get exasperated to have been writing like this. And you already are putting disparity between your own kids and his own mother. So I'm going to just put you on a scale that the possibility that this relationship will work out is less than 65. If you do not go to learn emotional intelligence, thankfully, you said we could treat it publicly and possibly if your fiancé will be listening also. And you said she introduced you to this channel and you really want her to listen. Now, everyone in this scenario are guilty or is guilty except for that boy child we do not know maybe because of the way the mother trained the child up maybe the child is naturally just rude so whenever he sees any intruder the first respondent or the first action is to lift up some kind of fence to barricade them from getting into the inner circle. Or maybe the boy is just traumatized. There is a possibility that this fiancé of yours might have fallen in love with few other guys before, whom this child has also fallen in love with, hoping that they will replace father to him and the break the heart of the mother. He might have seen the mother struggled with heartbreak and depression as a result of failed relationship in the past and hoping not to let that repeat itself by blocking you out. Children do that a lot. And that's the fault of the mother. Do not introduce your children to a man you are not sure you are ending up with. There must be a level of commitment from this man. So you have a lot at stake right now. Now in a society where we are right here, it's difficult, it's becoming more difficult for single mothers to get settled because men are getting scared of something like this or maybe financial responsibility part of it also. But then also, you also must put into consideration that 
It is not you alone falling in love with a man, with a stranger. Your children are to also accept this stranger and be able to live in peaceful coexistence with them. So imagine you bringing almost three men home in the past. It's going to be difficult for the child to accept more men. Two is the limit of every child. When it gets to the third one, they bring up their own fence. Now, while bringing up their own fence, there are two arts they are trying to protect. They want to protect their own art first from failing because men are squawk into their life as a father and gone. And possibly also to protect your art as the mother. So you don't go through the moment of depression and all that. They don't need to nurse you back to health again because they feel that all of these men are going to do the same thing. So whenever they see mommy with a man, they are already anticipating heartbreak and depression. So there's possibility, Mr. Kelvin, we're telling you, there's possibility that this child is only watching out for his mother and his own heart. Because you can't just be trusted like that because you are a man. Only you know how much you love the woman. The child doesn't know. Sometimes the woman does not even know. So there might be something the child is also running from. They need to be patient. Another thing is the fact that maybe the mother has not had this art to art communication with the son. It is most easy for you to replace the father of a, of a child when they crave to have a child, a father. The best time for you to come into the life of a mother who is single is when the child is actually craving to have a father. Then. If they are okay without a father, if you come at the wrong time, you will go immediately. They are not welcoming you. There's nothing you can do. Unfortunately for you, between you and the children, a single mother will pick a children. So you will still lose if you try to wage war against this woman. So the best bet is if you do love this woman enough, do what you can to make this work. Maybe take the boy out. But first, let the mother talk to him. Okay, this woman you are dating, you said, he sees, she sees all, the, all these things and she has done nothing about it. So I'm beginning to wonder what kind of relationship are you guys having? Because she shouldn't watch you struggle with uh, her son that much. If the children of a single mother will accept you or not, the job is in the hand of their mother first. She must have been able to water the ground for you. Sweet things. They know how to control these children. They do, except they don't want to. They know how to. She must have been able to put in good words for you with this child. Except she has done that, but you messed this up. Don't forget the child might be trying to hide from heartache. Now let's say the mother actually paved good way for you, but then you fumbled one way or the other. Let me just that. The child in his heart is just looking at his mother to look at the person you gave good words to. So there are a lot of psychological trauma going on between you, the mother, and the son also. And you may be thinking the woman is doing nothing, whereas she's just helpless. Maybe for a moment. Think about this. Maybe she has put in too much work for too many people in the past and they messed this up. So she wants you to actually win the trust of this woman by yourself. Single motherhood is not that easy. It's not that easy. And then look at it this way. If you truly do love this woman, no matter what distress the son gives to you, she will not bother you this much that puts you on the edge, this edge that you are. As a matter of fact, before you love a single mother, the first point of love that you show is to the children or the child. Son, daughter, there's no way you get through to a woman without loving what she loves. And the number one thing in the life of a woman is her children or a wife. So what are you doing to actually mend, mend, mend uh, let me say, mend that part, mend that part. What is it that you're doing to mend that part? Obviously, we have actually cited the case of your own self-esteem. Because respect is not demanded for. Respect is earned. Respect is earned. 
And I would like you to actually call the mother of this poor child. Don't assume that she has seen it. Don't assume she sees all these things. Also call the mother and speak to her. To her. And make your commitment known. I love you. I want to be the father of this child. I want to be in your life for the rest of my life. But this child is not giving me the chance. Can you speak to your son? And let him see me as a father. I bet it with you, whatever password you need to get that child to succumb to you is in the end of the month. But maybe ego is also part of it. Ask and you shall be given. You are experiencing trouble. You need help to make your future stepson to love you. Ask the mother, what can I do to make this child accept me? And you're already thinking about your children with this mother. It's not, the relationship will not work. It will not work. So in rounding things up, mothers, mothers are the connecting factor. They are the connecting node between the outsider and their children. Some women know how to do this thing perfectly well. And some are actually so oblivious of it. The way you, the man, is also oblivious of it. So that's why you have to increase your emotional intelligence. Not because the woman is setting up her son against you, but because you have a lot to do to win the trust of this child. And this is the funniest thing. The moment you win the trust of this child, you become the best friend forever. Even the mother will become jealous of you guys. Except she wants to have this divide and conquer rule, where she wants to be the major stakeholder between you here, between him there. And I don't think a woman wants to go through that stress of partitioning her own home. No, I don't think so. So this is between you and this woman, not between you and this boy. So you have to change your perspective now. Whatever is happening right now is between you and your fiancé, not between you and this boy. So either your fiancé has not done the right homework she ought to do on the child, or you are fumbling. You are fumbling steadily. That no matter what she does, you come to make it undone. And there's possibility that you are the one fumbling because of the way you are reacting already. From your letter, we saw that. You have a lot of self-esteem issue, and you are not patient enough. Now remember that this is a child that grew up without a father. You can't just come from anywhere and just bag into her life, uh, into his life, and think that he will just accept, accept, accept you just like that. A child that has been living so fine without you. Do you know that there are war going on between a man and his children concerning the wife? Not to mention you that you are just coming from somewhere. A man who is the owner of these children still have this jealousy that exists between him and his children just because of the wife. He wants the attention of the wife. The children also want the attention of the wife. Most times, women tend to give attention to their children more than their spouse because the few the spouse can understand. They are forgotten that a man is another man's child, another woman's child. So in the normal family that is being set up, conflicts still arise where some children love their parents, love one parent more than the other. Have you not seen? Where children love their mother more than their father. Most times, the male children tend to tilt towards their mother more than their father, while the female child tend towards, tends towards the father more than the mother. Not to mention a situation where this child has grown up without the mother, say, boy, and you are just coming in. There's any asunder in this relationship. You are the asunder between the relationship of the woman and the son. Take it like that first. You take responsibility of that. When you come to that realization, now begin to work yourself out. Now integrate yourself into the family, not forcefully, not by having this entitlement mentality. The feeling of Eros emotion that you and the mother share is not enough to make the boy accept you. And we don't know, maybe sometimes the woman is still also still sad while being with you. Because naturally, women tend to like a man that makes their mother happy. But don't forget that in liking you, their mother comes first. 
If truly you have been making the woman happy, she would have become so overjoyed, let herself loose, put in the right word with, uh, for you with the child and make sure that you guys bond more. I see women who will actually call the child and relinquish the authority of the home to the man. Say, whatever he tells you to do this, just do it. Stop asking me. He's the head of this house now. Or you need to also win the trust of the woman. If the woman sees all this and she's doing nothing about it, that shows that she doesn't trust you enough to put you in the spot of being a father to this to this boy. Okay, on the extreme case, some children are just, let's say, horrible like that. So should that mean you are breaking up with the woman? That will show that you don't love her enough. What should you do in that particular situation? Children who just dislike you for no reason sake. My brother, a woman you can't marry. Keep falling in love with the woman you came for without hating the children. That may sound a little bit hard and hard, right? If having tried all your best, to get the good side of your stepchildren or your future stepchildren and it's not working. Maybe because they are standing in as an advocate for their own biological father or because they like the past guy more than you do. You tried all you could and it's not working. My brother, focus on falling in love with the woman you came for without hating the children that belongs to the woman. Do your part, ignore all those attitudes and those things they keep. Focus on loving the world. When you stay long enough and they realize that you are real, they will come down to your level and accept you eventually. The problem with most of us men is this entitlement mentality and this authoritative mentality that wherever we are, we want everybody to be submitted to us. We want to subject everybody to our authority. You need to do all with it, especially when you were not part of that family in the initial stage. If you are bashing into a family or intruding into a family, wanting to make yourself become not neutralized in that family, especially taking a very huge position like the head of the home. My brother and sister, let see we go cash monkey, go be like monkey. Calm down. You have to calm down. This is between you and I, brother Kevin. This is between us. You have to calm down. If truly you love this woman genuinely, you are coming into a life to take up the position of the head of the home, especially when there is a boy child there who wanted to leave the throne of that home for you to rule. And he does it. Nobody will give up the authority easily. Forget that they are children. Because they are little, you think you can write them. They are also human beings of emotion, human beings of sound mind, human beings who are right. So you don't just bat into someone's life and think that your children will just relinquish the throne of their home to you to be the head of that home without putting you through some test of servitude. So, Brother Kevin, you wrote to us and we have answered, said, Hello, great man. Here is Kelvin from Abuja. I really appreciate what you do with your channel here on YouTube, which is not something common in Nigeria, Nigeria's space, to address deep-rooted issues affecting all, all sphere of human life in the age where everyone wants to trend. Your effort, if, if not invested, may be a loss to humanity as a whole. I have a challenge which I would love you to address publicly if you do not mind because I was introduced to your channel by my fiancée. Hopefully, she will also be listening to you. Our only son is the main limitation to our possibility to end up as couples. This boy does not respect me nor take orders from me. For instance, whenever I visit and ask him to do something, he looks at me with disdain and go to confirm from his mother before doing so. He's going to be nine, and I am afraid that when I start having my own kids from his mother, there might be too much disparity between them as he is already feeling like I am a rival to him. The worst is his mother notice all this and do nothing about it. How should I undo the situation because it is very appalling to me already? Thanks, great man. One other thing I did not address is the fact that the boy is almost nine. I often advise single mother, if you're going to fall in love anyway, why don't you fall in love now? 
if you're going to be married at the end of the day, why don't you marry now, knowing fully well that the singlehood is not affecting you alone now, it's also affecting that boy, that girl, those children who are living without the right mentality that family comprises of male, adult male, adult female, and children. Remember, I didn't say daddy, mommy, children, adult male, adult female, children. Who are you fixing up to take the role of the in that life? Because when they grow up too much to the point of you know, forming their own hypothesis, especially when they get to the age of nine and there is no man in their life already, it's very difficult for them to accept a man. They now don't see a father, they see a stranger trying to now. Unless they go beyond the age of teen, they begin to also fall in love, they know what it takes to also have companion. Then they start coming back to you asking you that, Mommy, why don't you get married? Remember, before they get to the age of nine, they will start asking you for your daddy. The moment they get to that age, they want you all for themselves. Until they begin to fall in love also, they come back to you and tell you that, Mommy, why don't you get married? Daddy, why don't you get married again? So that's that about today. Unfortunately, the ball is a pendulum today. The rolling will be more to the woman in this relationship and also to the man. Guy, you need to take care of your self-esteem. You need to take things easy. You are coming into another person's kingdom. You need to take it easy. You need to help them to relinquish the throne of their home and kingdom to you. Woman in this relationship also stop feigning ignorance. Stop pretending as if you do not know what is happening. You need to address this. This guy, is he not earning your respect enough? You don't love him enough? You cannot tell the child to take order from the woman, to, from the man enough? Or there's something you're still watching out there. If there are things, things still holding up in your mind, why do you bring a man close to your house to the point of wanting to give order to your son when you have not fully trusted him enough to be the father of your child? So women, please take note. Please take note. Please take note. Single mothers, I'm telling you, take note. Whenever a man has not got into the point of commitment and you are not yet sure that they can be the new father for your child, Stop introducing your children to all these men because your heart is being broken, their heart is broken also. Thank you very much for listening to Intentional Parenting today. Remember, you can send your inquiries to greatmanayilara at gmail.com, greatmanayilara at gmail.com. And if you want to help this channel grow, introduce someone to it. We want organic growth. We don't want the Bogueiro kind of growth. We want organic growth. Organic growth means those who are real, real human beings who identify with what you do here, who are ready to grow with us, who are ready to also maximize their life with us. Share the link with people on your WhatsApp, also on your Facebook Messenger, or even on your Facebook wall. The option is right there for you. Or by the word of mouth, you can talk to someone about it. And don't forget to send your inquiry to greatmanayilara at gmail.com. You can also follow me on my social media at the great man Ayilara, at the great man Ayilara, both on Instagram and also on Facebook. And if you are a newcomer on this channel, hearing us for the first time, it won't cost you more money or just press the subscribe button. And also at the right hand there, upper corner, you'll see the alarm button. Press it, click all so that you know when we are live. You have also opportunity to download all our sessions and episodes in MP3. Uh, MP3 also, there are very many methods and websites that can give you all these things to download in MP3 if the data consumption is too much. Till the next Wednesday that I see you again on Intentional Parenting, my name is Gretman Aguilera, and I just want you to raise your 21st century children as the trend and the vogue of the moment requires so that we do not lose them to what is trending, but we pass our legacy into them. On Friday, we start a new program on this channel called In Your Space. In Your Space, we're dealing with relationship issue from being single to relationship, dating, courting, to being married, and also divorce, especially divorce. And also several things about sexual intercourse and all that too. Friday, 8 p.m. Nigeria time. See you and namaste.